Welcome to episode four of the Pep Talk podcast. I'm Asher Lowe, your host, and we are here with Pepperdine Water Polo today. Adam Chapo and Shandor Gall, also known as the Hungarians, joining me on episode four of the pod. Boys, thanks for making it. Yep. Thanks nice to be here. Us. Thanks for having us. Excited to get into it. So it's been, we'll start in terms of in the pool, you know, what's, what's taking place this season, then we'll get into some more shenanigans later. But it's been a great year. 22-4 and four right now, 3-0 and in conference. Couple conference games left, and then we get to host. Really excited about that. I'm sure you guys are too. Yep. We get to host right here at Pepperdine Rally Reynolds Memorial Pool, the WCC Conference Tournament. What has this year been like for you guys in terms of the sport itself? Um, I mean, compared to last year, it's a huge difference. This year we were we we're ranked number four right now, but we have been third at one point. Last year, I think our highest was like ninth, maybe. So. I don't know, just the guys really came together this year. We are really playing for each other. We have a good team chemistry. We do stuff outside the pool and we really just care about each other and do what's, whatever is best for the team. What do you think, Chapa? How's you said it been? everything I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to add? No, 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 no. Um, yeah, obviously we're doing a lot better. It's because of a lot of factors. Uh, we definitely came together, um, Antonio and the goal is like, mm -hmm. doing really good, um, but it's not just his overall performance that is just boosting us, but it just boosts our performance too on defense, offense, so everything just came together. Um, yeah, you said you were 22-4, and four, I think. We had two like tough losses against Cal and UCLA, I think. In those two games, they were ranked number one both the times, so they were the number one team. We went to overtime with them. So, yeah, we're happy to have WCCs here in Malibu because we have no other goal but to win, go to NC2As. And having those games, now we know that we have a chance to play and beat anyone we, we face off against in NC2As. You can blame uh, one of our coworkers, Matthew Rosado. I'm going to shout him out right now, but not for the right reasons. He texted our group chat. He was like, did we just beat UCLA? And then we all went to the thing, and, and it was like a one-goal one, one goal yeah. game, and yeah. it was like 10 seconds left, we were up, and then uh, obviously we, we didn't get it done, but we have another yeah. chance to get it done likely Hopefully. in the NCAA tournament, yeah. right? Hopefully. Hopefully. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. It's hard to beat a team three times. Blame right? him. It's the jinx. It was the jinx <laughs> in the group chat. It's all good. It's hard, it's hard to beat a team three times. We'll face off against them for the third time in NC2As probably, hopefully. Um, so we'll see. So you guys knew each other growing up. I asked you that before, but Budapest, growing up in Hungary, coming all the way to Malibu, what got you to Malibu to play for Pepperdine? It was a long road. Um, well, obviously, speaking for myself, um, I always cared about like education too, and then I saw this opportunity to come out here, play for a club team back when I was younger, for, in like 16 years, 18 years, it was actually twice. And then I kind of just decided I want to I want to like get good education here and play like high level water polo at the same time because even though I love my sport it is uh, not the best if you're financially driven like even in the pro leagues so it's really nice to play I'm planning on playing for a couple more years but this is the best combination where I can play on a high level and and get good studies too. What about you, Shandor? Yeah, for me it was a little different. I also came here when I was 16 and 18 to play for a club team. And I wanted to come to college in America, but then I kind of put that idea to the side and decided that I want to go pro in Hungary. And that almost happened. I had a couple teams offering me contracts, but we had some problems with them. And then Coach Merrill uh, played with my coach back in Hungary. And then he reached out to him that he has one more spot in these players. And then my coach knew that I had this idea of coming to play water polo and go to school here. So he just reached out to me throughout my coach, coach in Hungary. And it worked out. So you guys ended up in Malibu, ended up in college in America, as you said, which you always wanted to do. Yeah. What's college in America been like? What, what is America like compared to where you're from? I know, I asked, I kind of teased this question with you guys before, and the first thing you were like, oh, the food, the food, oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. But what are the biggest differences? Any shocks, surprises you weren't expecting from what maybe you saw on TV? I don't know if you watched American Pie or something ridiculous. That's <laughs> some crazy idea of what American college is like. 
But what's it like in real life? I mean, it's like a lot different. Like just like distances, prices, food, obviously, and just like a combination of this. Like you got to get used to it. Um, I think we're getting used to it, but it's just a different vibe. Everything's just so local back home, Europe. Here, everything is just far away. A lot of people. There's. This is a small college. I don't know. Thousands of kids go here. In Hungary, it's not like that. So just probably like the, I feel like the size of everything is just the biggest difference. And then food, obviously, not healthy. Let's just put it that <laughs> it's not not. What's your favorite? Not what's your favorite not healthy food. American meal though? Can be a, what can, can be we a, call an American meal? That's a fair question. That's a fair question. American meals. That's a very fair question. Yeah. Let's go like maybe name a fast food chain you like here that you don't have back home. Maybe maybe this is I'll really do a combination. Food. I'll go like. Burgers and then probably like In and Out. In and Out's a classic. Yeah. yeah, I would say In and Out too. Maybe Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Yeah. You get some Chick Fil A after games sometimes. I know. I know. Yeah, we know that Chick Fil A Westlake yeah. Village. Shout out one of our great sponsors here <laughs> in Pepperdine. Yeah, we actually go to Chick Fil A sometimes. Not, not In and Out a lot. Probably because we're athletes. They don't want to feed us <laughs> with a, a lot of fast food, but it's all good. If you could bring one thing from home, from that culture at home that you miss out here, what would you bring? that you wish you had here? It could be like a restaurant, it could be something with your family, it could be something in terms of the community, the way it, the way it is set up there first year. Well, you mentioned it, can it just be specifically my family? Heck yeah. Yeah, probably the family is what I miss the most. It's tough sometimes, but yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. yeah, definitely the family. I wanted to say that too. His parents are here right they now. Are, they're actually yeah. visiting right now. Yeah. yeah. Have, they, uh, have both your parents come out and seen games? I know you're yeah, here right now, yeah, but yeah. yeah. My parents came like around this time last year, and then they're actually here in a week. So awesome. they'll be here for WCCs at home. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the next tournament we enter. That's the, be- that's the best that. time to come. Yep. Hosting WCCs. So from last year to this year, you guys, I mean, you mentioned it because you've played some of the top teams close, right? Whether it's Princeton, UCLA. You really feel like that locker room believes you guys have a chance to win it all? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Even though, like, last year, of course, we went into overtime, but we still lost. But last year, we had similar games. We were up against UCLA. We were, we were tied, maybe even up, going into the fourth against Cal away. But, but for some reason, like, it's just a different, different vibe this year in the locker room. Like, last year, we were happy to get a few conference wins, get in, start in a better position, and we weren't, like, really thinking about NC2As at all. I feel like now it's not even a question. Like, now we're, like, we're going to show ourselves in WCCs, get a good warm-up, and then head into NC2As. You agree with that, Shandor, that, like, yeah. the locker room vibe just feels totally different? Yeah, like, I th- last year, I feel like if we made it out of our conference, it would have been, like, a big, like, nice performance from us. But this year, if we don't make it out, it's, it's unacceptable. Yeah, the, the expectations are just a different level right yeah. now, yeah? A lot of things changed. We have yeah. a new conference, new team, new players. Um, everything, I feel like, uh, shifted in our direction. But sometimes it's got to be like that. Luck is going to be your own side, hopefully. So one other question about food is my last one, though. <laughs> All right. I know, Shando, you said there was a Hungarian meal that yeah. you, you're, you're dreaming of, mm-hmm. family's cooking. What's the, the team meal? If your family's making a team meal after the game, I don't know if they're going to when they're here, but if they are, what's that meal you want them to serve, that home-cooked meal? You just wanted a Hungarian? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, all right. What, how are you going to explain that? No, <laughs> you got to try it. Give me something. Give me something off that. It's like... But we'll have the subtitles up, I hope. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, every luck. It's I'm, like we're going to try, man. Hey, we're doing our best out here. It's like a creamy fish yeah. uh, served with uh, pasta with bacon and, like, cottage cheese mixed into it. Cottage cheese in there? Yeah. yeah. Dang, it's, you not like it's it? It's fire. No, I do. I like cottage cheese, but I what? We got, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Time out. Yeah. Time out. Yeah. I'm about to call time here real quick. We got bacon in there. Yeah. We got fish in there. Yeah. We got cottage cheese in there. Yeah. I don't even together. know what meal you would call it because it's like, it's a creamy, but it's like fish, but like pasta at the same time. Like, what do you even call that? <laughs> you call it, what do you call it? <laughs> There's your answer, Chapo. There you go. That's what you call it. 
I know. The rest of the season, a couple weeks left, right? What's success to you? Is it for the rest of the season? Is it something in terms of a championship, or is it a feeling at the end of the year? How, how would you define success for this team when it's all said and done this year? Someone said it, I don't know if it was today, but winning the last game. Mm. We have to win our last game. That's the goal. We can't go wrong if we win our last game. So I don't know. If put it simple terms, win our last game, that's got to be NC2As. Like, we, we, we were building for this. We finally have a chance. We got we to gotta live with it, I feel like. Win, win the last game? Win the last game. There it is. Pepperdine University as a school, so outside of the pool, right? You came here, you mentioned at Chapo already that you came here obviously for water polo, but also for the education, the fact that you want to yeah. maybe do something different than water polo in a few years and you want to have a good basis and education to do it. What's something at Pepperdine outside of water polo that has really impressed you guys that you've loved, whether it be a teacher, a club, a class, something that you've really taken to? here in Malibu? Well, first of all, when I was talking about like coming to the U.S., I didn't specifically talk about um, like why Pepperdine. And we promised Merrill to shout the coaching staff out. So <laughs> I think we can both say it was a big part was the coaching staff here. Uh, so thank you for giving us the opportunity. And then answering your question. Um, so education is important. And I don't know what the best word to explain it is, but just like, so in the classrooms, like the size of the classrooms and how you can like talk to your teacher about anything and, and you can get help, like it makes education so much easier and so much like you're actually learning, you're not just in there getting through it. That's what like one of the reasons that I knew about is gonna be like this in the US cause, cause I studied at like an American school, international school in Hungary with like uh, US like teachers, professors. And I knew it's going to be something similar, so that's what I would like highlight. I feel like that small class size, that personal yeah. connection yeah. with it. What about yeah. you, Shandor? Uh For me in the classroom, I was definitely like kind of surprised the way teachers and professors were like because in Hungary, like high school and even college professors and teachers, they try to figure out what you don't know, yeah. trying kind of like screwing you over. But here, I feel like they they want to figure out what you know and how to, like, get the most out of you. Last question. We'll wrap it up with this. Message to the team for the rest of the year. You can look at the camera, deliver it like your Braveheart giving the speech before WCC championships or the NCAA tournament. It can be something in addition to win the last game. What are you telling the team? Um, what I, when I always speak up to the team is in like the fourth quarter of games, especially the big games. So what I would send as a message to the team is just like, we got this. Like we, we should not give up right now, whatever the score might be, because we've been up, maybe we're down right now, but we're on the same level as them. We have to get after them. We can't just stop right now. So whatever game it is, our next whatever, we have four more games before conference, hopefully another two in conference. We got to get after every single opponent we face off against. And when it's hard, when it's, when it's a tie score or whatever, fourth quarter, clutch time, we got to get after them. We can't, we can't leave it at that. Metaphorically, this is also basically the fourth quarter of the season, I feel like, right yeah. now. So, yeah, you've done it for three quarters. You got to yeah. now finish the job. What about you, Shandor? Yeah, kind of bouncing off that, just we can't stop right now. Like, we came all this way. We practiced all summer without basically any break. And we can't just stop right now. It might be fourth quarter in a game, and we're tied or down. But we have to give our best. Because after a game, if we lose and don't make it to NC2As, or if we lose in NC2As and don't make it to the final or whatever, we're going to feel way worse than if we just suffered for those five minutes. November 17th, WC tournament, right out here, Riley Ronald's Memorial Pool. You guys ready? You excited? We're, ready. Yep. We're, ready. We're hosting we're it. Ready. We hope we have a crowd to come and we have you guys to, on. We have to take care of three more conference games, but. Yep, yep. I, yeah. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I'm just saying. <laughs> I want the people out there on November we 17th. we got to stay in the moment, but yeah. 
pull up. That's a good up. coach's answer. I could see I could see some <laughs> some mail in your future right there with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, he's rubbing off on you with that. With that. Thank you guys. Yep. Adam Chapo, Shandor Gall, thanks for being on Pep Talk. Thanks for having us. Thank you guys.